Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Karshina, with First Stones Productions, and this is Screamtober. I'll be doing a video a day for 31 days up into Halloween, so let's get started. Welcome to Verse Films Productions Annual Screamtober here on our horror channel. I'm your host, Karshina, and I've got 31 days to get you in the mood for Halloween. Join me as I share a video a day with a new theme each week that you will find scary, haunting, and sometimes just plain fun. Let's get into it. Welcome to Director's Week. We'll be taking a closer look at a famous horror director and their movies. This year's horror director honoree is Dario Argento. The iconic Italian film director is known all over the world. Let's get started. What is this got your source? Suspiria, 1977. Susie Banyan travels a journey to perfect her ballet skills. She arrives at the Tans Dance Academy in the pouring rain and is refused admission after another woman is seen fleeing the school. She returns the next morning and this time is let in. She learns that the young woman she saw fleeing the previous evening, Pat Hingle, has been found dead. Strange things soon begin to occur. Susie becomes ill and is put on a special diet. The school becomes infested with maggots, odd sounds abound, and Daniel, the pianist, is killed by his own dog. A bit of research indicates that the ballet school was once a witch's coven, and as Susie learns, still is. Suspiria has been acclaimed as director Dario Argento's masterpiece, and it certainly is. The plot is fairly simple. American ballet student Susie Banyan, played by Jessica Harper, travels to Germany to attend an exclusive ballet school. Once there, she discovers that there is more going on within than just dance instruction. Although the school's directress, Madame Blanc, played by Joan Bennett, welcomes her warmly. She is unsettled by her aide, Miss Tanner, played by Alita Valley, as well as several mysterious student disappearances. When her new friend Sarah, played by Stefania Cassini, is the latest to vanish, Susie begins her own investigation of the Academy. Argento said that he modeled the look of the film directly on Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And indeed, the similarities are apparent. Suspiria may not always make perfect sense plot-wise, but it's a thrilling roller coaster ride. Suspiria ranks as one of the best Italian-made horror films of all time. Rated R with a runtime of 1 hour and 32 minutes. You can stream it on Amazon Prime or free on Tubi TV. With a screenplay from Argento and Daria Nicolotti, the film is a psychedelic trip into an occult world of fear, blood, and horror. Under Argento's direction, cinematographer Luciano Tavoli's artful camera work heightens the feeling of hallucinogenic unreality running throughout the film. His framing of images is beautiful even when the images in question are the darkest, vilest imaginable. Franco Fraticelli's editing is lyrical and frenetic, adding to the film's rapid uneasy pace. The sound design, as in most good horrors, is well balanced and frightening, heightening the already tense mood established by the disquieting images on screen as well as the incredible music score. Argento and the band Goblin composed the soundtrack and it really is terrifying. Not since Lalo Schifrin's unused score for The Exorcist rejected because it was too scary, if rumors are to be believed, has there been such horrifically creepy, over-the-top, and atmospheric music written for a film. Suspiria, one of the best horror films around. 